In this video, we will talk then how we can use the fitting technique to repair a graph. Here in this graph, we see that this portion has nothing to do with the experimental result, but is actually a device error. So we would like to remove this one. If I increase the size of this, then it is really very hard to remove this thing by removing the numbers only in the data over here because there is a very inclined increase in this one and this one is uh, also very inclined one so we cannot remove it by just removing some numbers here so how to do this thing with the help of fitting let me select the plot and go to analysis and then fitting and inside the fitting let me go to the nonlinear fit and then open dialog and here I select inside the origin basic functions the exponential decay 2 and I start fitting with this one and then I click fit until converge and I click OK now I see here that it has almost fitted this one now this peak which is um, let me increase the size of it now I can see here that this peak is something experimental while this is a machine error so now we would like to remove this one but as I know that the fitting is not that perfect here and this line should have touch here and here so how to rectify this issue i would like to change or translate this one vertically a little bit down but as i can see in the data that here the data which the fitting has produced is actually locked and i cannot edit this data so i will select this one and copy this and i will go to the actual data and here i will add two more columns and i will paste the data so the data is here and now i will have to make this one is an x column so let me plot this data and now the data is here change this one it's a correction here okay and now I can see that the glitch that I am removing from here is this one. Now I can select my plot here, which is the fitting one. As I click on this, both have been selected. So I will first ungroup this one. And now I click on this and I go to analysis and then data manipulation and then vertical translate. So to vertically translate this one and it will go down like here and a little bit up here. So now I have selected the data and if I look here, I will have now to select, let me remove this one and as I look to the data points here inside my data now these have been vertically translated as well so here in the plot I will select the two points where the plot is actually matching the fitting is matching my plot so the very first point it is almost here at this point I can select this one so let me select this and here let me point this one so this point is actually 675 approximately so I will write 675 and over here the point which is matching very well here with the data so that an abrupt change is to be removed and this is 870. 
so i will have to remove the data this plot data and will replace with the data of the fitting at this point so let's go to the data and the data is here so i will have to move from 675 to so this is 675 and i will have to move to 870 and this is 870 let me copy this data and just paste this data here so that the data remains available with us and this is the data that we have from this one and now i will have to copy this data and another two columns here and as i see that this data is in reverse so 1500 and 1400 or first select this one and then uh, right click here and here reverse order so reverse order and now it is in order is like this one so first copy up to 675 now up to 675 i copied i copy the data and i paste it here we and now i will paste this data from 675 onward i copy this data and i go till the end here and paste it and now this this these two points are a bit you can say close but uh, this is not a big problem and now my data goes up to 870 so i will start from 870 here 871 here i will take the rest of the data from 871 sub till end c and i put back the data here and now this is my x column so set is x column and now plot this one and now you can see that we have removed that glitch which was here we can compare this one with our previous data which is here so this is one column and this was our data with the glitch so plot them in order to see that how we rectified that glitch and here it is so our experimental data is safe and we have only removed the glitch here this can be seen here you see we have removed that glitch here so this is a way to rectify a given plot with the help of fitting thank you for watching